So in this uh, problem, we've got to convert 400 kilometers per hour to miles per hour. And the way to do that is we divide by 1.61. So that is 400 over 1.61, right? So that is um, 1.61 into 400. But we know that if you've got the divisor being a decimal, you've got to turn that to a whole number. So move the decimal point over one, two spots. Now if you do that to the to this number, you've got to do that to this number, the dividend, right? So here's our decimal point. We've got to move it over one, two spots. And then we'll get zeros in here, right? So this is the same thing as 161 into four zero 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 right and if we want we can um, put on a decimal point and add in some zeros if we like as well if we need to right so what happened there is I actually multiplied the top and bottom by a hundred that's what happened right and I got the same thing just it looks a different a little bit different um, but it is it is the same quantity it's just a fraction that looks different but it's the same thing. 1.61 times 100 is 161. 400 times 100 is 40,000. Right? So 400 over 1.61 is the same thing as 40,000 over 161. That's what we have here, right? So let's start it. So we do 161 into 4, that won't go. 161 to 40 won't go. 161 into 400. How many times does that go? So you can just take your guess and multiply and check it. And if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Just try again. Um, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to block off all these and I'm going to block off the one. I'm going to go 16 into 40 and I'm going to think what would that be? Well, I know two 16s is 32 because 16 is two eighths and four eighths is 32. So I'm going to try two times. So I'm going to try 161 times two and see what I get. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 6 is 12, carry the 1, 2 times 1 is 2 and 1 is 3, right? So I'll try 2. 2 times 161 gives me 322. Now subtract. So um, I've got to do some borrowing here, right? So I'm going to turn this guy into a 10 first of all. But I've got to borrow from here, but but zero is less than two, so I actually have to borrow from all the way over here, turn that into a three, right? And so that turns this guy into a ten. But I had to borrow over here as well, so that ten actually becomes a nine. So we've got three, nine, ten. So ten minus two is eight, nine minus two, seven, three minus three, zero, right? And we bring this zero down. So 161 doesn't go into 78, that's good, 2 is correct. So bring this 0 down and now we have 161 into 780, right? So how many times does that go? And again, just make a guess and multiply it and check it. Now I'm going to help myself here, I'm going to block this 0 off and block this 1 off and I got 16 into 78. I know 5 16s is 80, why? Because 10 sixteens is 160 and half of that is 80, right? So it's about five times, but 780 is a little bit less. So I'm actually going to guess four times. But five is also a good guess, but I'm going to guess four. Four times one is four, four times six, 24, carry the two, four times one is four and two is six. So that is four. Four times 161, we just got that 644 and then subtract. Now I've got to subtract this guy. So 0 minus 4 won't go. I've got to borrow 1 to make that a 10. And this 8 becomes a 7. See that? Now 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 4 is 3. 7 minus 6, 1. 136. And 136 is less than 161, so we did the right thing. So that 4 there is correct. Bring down another 0. And how far do I have to go with this thing? Let me check the question again. It says, round the answer to the nearest whole number. So I'm almost there. Um, but this will be the next, the decimal point of the dividend is actually here. 
And so the answer de decimal point is actually up here. So I actually have to, see if I want to round to the nearest whole number, which is this place, I actually have to go one further just to know where to round to, right? Anyway, so 161 into 1360, what's that? Well again, I'm going to just block off this 1 to make that 16 and block off a 0. So I'm going to think 16 into 136. Let's see. Well, 5 16s is 80. 10 16s is 160. So it's not 10, it's not 5, it's somewhere in between. I think it might be 8 or something like that. I'm just going to guess 8 for fun. I might be totally wrong. 161 times 8. Might have to go up or down 1. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 6 48. Carry the 4. 1 8 is 8 and 4 is 12. 1, 2, 8, 8. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So I've guessed 8. So 8 times 161 is 1, 2, 8, 8. Now subtract. So that becomes a 10. And then I've got to go 6 minus 8. Well, that's still smaller. So I have to borrow from this guy, and that will become a 2. And that becomes 16. And then I have to borrow from that one to get the 1 over there. So that becomes 15, right? So 10 minus 8 is 2. 15 minus 8 is 7. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So I end up with 72. So it was a good guess. 72 is less than 161. So we're good. Now I put in the decimal point after the 40,000. I should put another 0 there because that's going to carry down to here. 720. 600 into 720 gives what? Or 161, sorry, into 720. And again, block off the 1, and that's 16 into 72. And remember, 5 times 16 is 80, because 10 times 16 is 160, so 5 16s is 80, so it's less than 5. Let's guess 4 again. Remember last time it was 4 times that was 644, so let's try that again. 4 times 161 was 644, right? Subtract. So 10, and this becomes a 1, um, so 10 minus... 4 is 6, but I got a 1 minus 4 won't go, so I got to borrow from here. That's a 6, and a 1 over makes 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. So remainder 76, which is less than 161, so we're good to go. Um, that was a good guess. And check the question. It says round the answer to the nearest whole number. So that is in the, in the 8th spot. So do we round up or down? Well, we've got a 4 after the 8, so that means we round down. So that is rounded to 248 miles per hour. MI is miles. Or you can also write it MPH, miles per hour. So every hour we travel 248 miles. Okay, in the hot air balloon. My gosh. They reach speeds of 248 miles an hour in a hot air balloon. That's hard to believe. There you go.